Acts 1 verse 8 Ye shall receive power, after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, and in all Judea, and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. The Holy Spirit is a person. He is the third person of the Godhead. We have God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. See 1 John 5 verse 7, Matthew 28 verse 19 to 20. The Father is the Almighty God, the Son is our Lord Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit is the one that Jesus sent to us. Acts 1 verse 8. The Holy Spirit is the carrier of God's presence and power. In Genesis 1 verses 1 to 2, we see that God began to recreate the whole world through His Spirit. Jesus could not have fulfilled His ministry on earth without the Holy Spirit. Acts 10 verse 38 tells us that God empowered Him with the Holy Spirit and power to do great miracles. The Holy Spirit is not the power of God. The Holy Spirit carries the power of God. As a Christian, you cannot manifest or feel God's presence without the Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit that separates Christianity from every other religion in the world. Let's look at some characteristics of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the Lord of the harvest, Matthew 9 verse 38. It is the Holy Spirit that convicts sinners of their sins. Without the Holy Spirit one cannot be born again. The Holy Spirit is the author of our salvation. The Holy Spirit enables us to live a holy and righteous life. Just as He convicts sinners of their sins, He also convicts believers of their righteousness, John 16 verses 8 to 9. The Holy Spirit helps us to serve God in words and in deeds. You cannot live right before God by your own human strength. The arm of flesh will always fail you but you must constantly depend on the Holy Spirit to live a godly life. Remember, it's not by power, nor by might, but by my Spirit, says the Lord. Zechariah 4 verse 6 We command the supernatural through the Holy Spirit inside us. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we can heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils, etc. We can control events from the realms of the Spirit through the power of the Holy Ghost. Mark 16 verses 17 to 18. The Holy Spirit helps us to pray. Romans 8 verses 26 to 27. The Holy Spirit gives us utterances in our prayers. The Holy Spirit in us guarantees answers to our prayers. He is our advocate before God. Learn to pray in the Holy Ghost. Jude 1 verse 20. It is the voice of the Spirit in us that gives us direction. The Holy Spirit is our helper. As a believer, get to know the person of the Holy Spirit. He will guide you and teach you all things you need to know. Jesus said, He will even bring back to you things you may have forgotten. The Holy Spirit is our teacher, guide, and shepherd. He is the Spirit of truth. John 14 verse 26. John also tells us that the anointing, Holy Spirit, in us, teaches us all things. 1 John 2 verse 27 The Holy Spirit is God's presence within you, desiring fellowship like any mutual friendship. When this fellowship is neglected, it becomes dormant. Several signs indicate the Holy Spirit's reduced function in your life. One of the first signs is a lack of motivation to pray diminishing your enthusiasm for communion with the Father. Even when you do pray, you find yourself rushing through it, unable to enjoy God's presence. Additionally, a lack of direction becomes evident. The Holy Spirit often guides us, imparts wisdom, and reveals insights about God. If you've observed any of these signs, you may be wondering how to rekindle the Holy Spirit's influence. The sole means to revive God's Spirit within you is to return to Him. God has never left. It is you who has drifted away. Reconnect through prayer, fasting, and regular study of His Word. Make time for conversations with God, not just speaking but also listening. Consistency is key. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank You for being such a loving God. Thank you for redeeming and reconciling us back to you. Through your Son, 
Jesus Christ, thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to comfort, empower, and guide us here on earth. Holy Spirit, we are thankful to you for your manifested presence. Lord, the earth is yours and everything that is in it. The world and all its people belong to you. You laid the earth's foundation on the seas and built it on the ocean depths. You are the king of glory. You are strong and mighty. You are invincible in battle. You are an awesome God. Holy Father, we declare that your spirit will be poured out upon us. But we declare that everyone will be filled, empowered by, and overflowing with your spirit. Your servants, both male and female, will abundantly receive your spirit in Jesus' name. Youth prayer explosion on one accord. A mighty rushing wind will fill the Kingdom Builders Center and everyone will be filled with the Holy Spirit and begin to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gives us utterance. Father, it is the infilling of the Holy Spirit that empowers us to be witnesses for you in the earth. Lord, we declare that everyone who attends this conference will be set free. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty in Jesus' name. Loving Father, please instruct us on how to create an atmosphere that is inviting to the Holy Spirit during our prayers. We desire for your Spirit to hover over us as he hovered over the face. Father, thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to me in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, fill me afresh with the power of your Spirit in Jesus' name. O oh Lord, Heal every wounded part of my life through the power of the Holy Spirit. O Lord, help me subdue every fleshly manifestation of sin in my body by the power of your Spirit. O Lord, realign my life and set me on the right track by the help of the Holy Spirit. O Lord, let the fire of the Holy Spirit come afresh upon my life today in Jesus' name. O Lord, by the help of your Spirit, let my life reflect the life of God in Jesus' name. O Lord, kindle in me the fire of love through the help of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Sweet Holy Spirit, I want to be connected to you forever in Jesus' name. Dear Holy Spirit, enrich me with your gifts in Jesus' name. Dear Holy Spirit, quicken me and increase my desire for the things of heaven. By your rulership, sweet Spirit of God, let the lust of the flesh in my life be subdued in Jesus' name. Sweet ho, my spirit, increase daily in my life in Jesus' name. Every enemy of excellence in my life, be consumed by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Dear Holy Spirit, let every past satanic achievements in my life be converted to my promotion in the name of Jesus. Dear Holy Spirit, help me. Let the shame of my enemies be multiplied greatly in Jesus' name. Dear Holy Spirit, help me. Let the defeat and disgrace of enemy of my progress be multiplied beyond measure in Jesus' name. Dear Holy Spirit, help me. Let every power planning to turn my life upside down fall down and die now in the name of Jesus. Dear Holy Spirit, help me. I destroy every satanic inspiration targeted against me in the name of Jesus. With the power of the Holy Spirit at work in me, I barricade my life from every satanic opinion in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, trouble let all my divinely appointed helpers begin to locate me from now in the name of Jesus. Dear Holy Spirit, Thank you for causing me to ride above principalities and powers in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Thank God for answers to your prayer.